Welcome back, Cadmus. Today I have a very special video for you. As you know, I've been participating in a YouTube collaboration contest, and I'm absolutely thrilled to introduce my partner for this challenge, Paul Simon from the OnShape team. Paul, thank you so much for joining me. It's a real honor to have you here. I'm very glad to be here, uh, gents. Um, I'm part of your typical services team at OnShave. I've been working for PTC for a long time already, probably eight years. I really stopped counting. Um, I'm mm -hmm. French. I'm based in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I really like talking about OnShave. I'm convinced that OnShave is the best CAD and PDM software available in the market today. Um, mm -hmm. And today we'll be doing something that I really like, uh, the collaboration, mm -hmm. um, but really sets OnShave apart uh, from other systems. So yeah, can't wait. Let's do that. Yeah. So having Paul here is the perfect opportunity to showcase what I believe is one of Onshape's most powerful features. Like Paul just said, the ability to collaborate in real time. We're not just sharing a screen. We're in the same document, making changes simultaneously. Before we dive in, I want to quickly show you a great way to practice your CAD skills right with an Onshape. You can find this free app in the App Store, and it's called CAD Challenges. I get it here. And if you don't have that, you just go to the App Store, type in CAD Challenges, and find it that way. Let's have a look at the PDF. We got the syringe assembly here, the needle, the tip, the body, the seal, the plunger, a dimension of uh, 40, uh, 64 millimeters. So, um, Paul, what's your idea? How should we go about this? Um, yeah, what I like to, to do usually when I start um, mating my assemblies, the first thing I usually do is fix one of the components so it doesn't fly out in space. So I would probably uh, fix the uh, the body here. All right, let, let so, me do this. Yeah, I make a start. right yeah. click button here and fix that. So there, mm -hmm. it's fixed, all right. Yeah, and, um, and then I would start um, probably um, grouping some of these parts. So you could group, for example, uh, the tip to the needle and the plunger yeah. to, the, uh, to the seal. But uh, I'll take this opportunity to, um, to showcase one of the coolest features we have in Onshape, which is the mm -hmm. ability to share comments. So yeah. I forgot the comment already. I tagged you um, and, um, and I even added the screenshot to the comment. Uh, so let me just send the comment and you will see it should appear live yes. on your yes. screen. Yeah. It it popped up and let's have a look at the at the PNG Paul sent me. So he detailed step one, connect those two, step two, those two, and then insert into the main body. And not only yep. that, there is a tag with the the face of seal. So let's say I click on that and that face is highlighted. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll hide the, the cat should... challenge for now. And mm -hmm. so when you when you do that, maybe just one quick tip here. You know, you can you can tag anything to give some context to your comments. So you can tag faces, parts, um, edges, whatever you want. And it's always okay. gonna zoom, pan and rotate to this specific um, object face, right? Okay. So I, I will hide the comment section now. And just to make one thing clear. This is an icon here for Paul. So when I double click this, I can see where his mouse is moving. And Paul, maybe, yeah, now Paul is rotating the, the whole assembly. And maybe uh, you could just demonstrate how you um, connect I can the, start the yeah. plunger and, and the seal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you know you should be seeing what I'm doing live. Yes. So I could mm -hmm. uh, maybe I like to to work with perspective. So I'm going to turn perspective mode. I could add a section view. You're going to see that live as well. You know everything I'm doing. You're going to see. Yeah. Is here um, of the seal with the face of the plunger. And as soon as I confirm the change, you're going to see that update live on your screen.
All right. Okay. So okay. there's the fast mate. I will continue with the next uh, mate, which again will be a fastened mate of that needle and the um, tip. All right. Yeah, I, ju I just said that he just updated on my side. And as soon as you make a change, I can see mm. it live because, okay. you know, on chip is cloud-based. So it's it's just one single source of truth. We are just yeah. both looking at the exact same thing yeah. from different locations. Mm. And that's, you know, that's why it's so uh, collaborative, right? You yeah. can, it's not copies of files everywhere. It's just one mm. single thing. Right? Um, can you continue um, uh, with a needle on the body? With a pin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So I'm gonna I'm good at the uh, fasten mate as well. I'm gonna pick the uh, internal edge here and uh, same pick the body right there. And uh, again, you, sh you should see that yes. date live. Yes. I I saw it live in perspective. Perfect. So um, now one final mate is left. And that is uh, the 46 or 64, right? What was it? Uh, I think it's 46, but um, let me just uh, add another comment so you know exactly how you should uh, make this one. So I'm going to yeah. tag you. Yeah. I'm going to do it live. So I'm just tagging with the at icon. You can tag someone in the system so he's going to get notified. Okay. And I can say, you know, uh, this is... This is the um, the face you should uh, use, right? And okay. I'm just going to tag the face so you know uh, which uh, a markup as well. So I'm just going to add okay. a markup, and uh, I'm going to send you uh, the comment. Right. So you should, there you should it receive it now. It's, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the face we're talking about. There's the tag for this. And now I'll just take the slider mate to connect that edge with um, that edge and give that a limit. Um, minimum of um, minus 46 and a maximum of zero. Mm -hmm. Accept that. Hide the no. Accept that. Okay. Hide the comment section. And okay, there seems to be a problem. This exactly. Is... So you know something mm -hmm. that I could do on my side is you know while you're working on the design and yeah. and assembling stuff. What mm -hmm. I could do, I could um, start checking. So, for example, I could do some um, interference checking, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, and that's what I just did. And again, I'm going to send you another message with a markup um, with there. what I just saw, right? With my yeah, yeah, yeah. With, that's yeah. the problem. We got to work yeah. on that. So let's uh, redefine the limits of this. The limits, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's minus forty-six. That is okay. But then, what should we type in, Paul? Uh, minus eight, I think, should be fine. Minus eight. Accept that. There. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. So I'll just make a interference detection by yep. right-clicking on the assembly and go to check interference. Check interferences, yeah. And none. And no. So perfect. That's fine. So let me um, just pull the plunger out to those 46 and go back to our CAD challenge just to check um, how that works. And we did it. Great. Amazing. Yeah. And maybe you want to animate the, the whole thing. So we go to animate mate directly yeah yeah and it's moving maybe a little slow we go to 100 
Do you know? Do, yeah. Uh, maybe just one quick tip as well, um, because I don't know many CAD systems that can do that. You could have a section view while you're running the animation. Ah. So you could you could actually you could eat right now. You could just uh, create a section view and pick, for example, the the cylinder here. Uh, I'm body, taking this plane and, here. Uh, and you can just select the cylinder, and you'll see it's going to create a section view while the while, animation is while running. it's animating. So it's pretty cool. I'm I'm doing this yeah. right now here, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's really great. Yeah. Okay, so there it is. The signage assembly complete with the help of Paul Simon from the OnShape team. I hope you've seen firsthand how powerful OnShape's real-time collaboration can be. It's a feature that truly changes the way we design and engineer. Thank you so much again, Paul, for joining me and for sharing your expertise. Welcome. It was a pleasure.